Hello everyone, Logano Fan22 Piglet over here, and I got today at Walmart Wave 7 and NASCAR Lionel Authentics for $4.94 each. And they had every single car, but sadly they didn't have the Kyle Busch or the Dell Jr. one. So, anyway, first up is going to be the Brad Keselowski at Lions Truck Parts. And they have been released pretty early considering Wave 6 was only released about a week or two ago, not that long ago. So anyway, first up is going to be Brad Keselowski, Alliance Truck Parts number 2. So here is Brad Keselowski's number 2 Ford, um, shoot, what do they call it, Ford Fusion, Alliance Truck Parts. And let me crack it open and take a review over the car. And also too while I'm opening it opening this car. I need to open this very carefully because I do want to try to save this package. Got the hood. Let me just review the hood real quick. I always like these hoods because they make a real nice room ornament. They look really nice hanging up on your walls. Um, here's Alliance Truck Parts by Kozlowski 2. Clean this off real quick. They got very detailed with going on the pins. And on the back, they have NASCAR Authentics and then the Lionel logo on there. Now, let me get the car out. Got the car out now. And here is the car. You can definitely tell this is 2016 because of the fact that there's Auto Trader on the car and Brad Keselowski didn't start doing Auto Trader until just this year. And I think there's something different about this car because this too looks really, really small. I would think it would be a little bit bigger, but anyway, this is the third Ford to be released and they even had more sh Toyotas released before the Ford so that surprised me but anyway here's the front of the car Ford Pinzoy let me try to get in a little bit more closer but on the grill I like how much detail they went into it they actually have like a grill feature like it actually has texture to it then on the other side, for the Jackman, you can see the arrow right there. Yellow and black, and the snap-on right there. But also, too, let me try to get in a little bit closer. I can't get it to zoom in. Why is it not zooming in? But, kind of hard to see, but right above the Moog, and right below the NASCAR Sprint Cup logo, there's an actual Coors Light Pole Award. Let me see it real quick. Yeah, it says, it doesn't say Coors Light, but it has a Pole Award logo on there. There's the inside of the car right there. Good look in there. Steering wheel, and then there's the, the dashboard. Worth and heavy duty truck parts on the bottom. Back of it, I mean. And... I really like it, but the problem is that they kind of messed up on the printing because they kind of did it a little bit sideways with their two, along with the other side. Whoops, the other side. The other side, though, they did it straight, but the other side, a little bit crooked. Now, I'm going to move on to the four of Kevin Harvick. So here's a four of Kevin Harvick, Mobile One. This was, I think he was, um... I forgot where this was ran at. I don't remember where this was ran at. Um, it would really help if you guys could let me know down in the comments where Kevin Harvick ran this Mobile One Tony Stewart looking car. I don't remember where it was, but anyway. But let me let me show you the back real quick. Yeah, I didn't get this Dell and Hart Jr. one right here, and the Skittles one right here. Of Kyle Busch in the spot in the 400 win. Anyway, let me open it up. Oh, 
Alright. Car. In the hood. Get this out of the way. Quickly. So here is the hood. Another nice looking hood. Kevin Harvick Mobile One. Nice car Authentics and Lionel on there. Same as Brad Keselowski's and here's the car. The first Chevy to be reviewed of Wave 7. And this is very similar to Tony Stewart. The only thing different is that it has Kevin Harvick. It's the floor. And it has Jimmy Johns on the car. Otherwise, it would be an exact replica of Tony Stewart's car. Even though Tony Stewart hasn't ran... His main car, as one as the cars he re they re as NASCAR Line Authentics release in Wave Four, but anyway, it's still a cool Americano looking car. And I'm glad the, for the fact that they actually put Jimmy Johns on the back of the hood. Like I like that. Um, really, nothing that much to really point out on this car except. I like the fact how Americana it looks. But yeah, pretty good looking car. And now, I want to move on to about one of the most coolest cars that NASCAR Lionel Authentics ever released. Not believe that they actually released a Ryan Blaney NASCAR car. I cannot believe that they actually did this. Like he's a guy who no one even knows about that much, and they actually released them. Well, everyone knows him, but I mean, he's not. He has never got a win in the Sprint Cup Series, but they actually released it. Um. I love this car. Next year, I think, I think he's going to Team Penske. I don't remember. But anyway, as always, Motorcraft and the Wood Brothers have always been the same as that paint scheme with the classic brown 21 on the side and the classic white 21 on the top. Just another classic paint scheme. And let me open it up and show you this. Very extremely look cool looking car. And here's a little story too I gotta tell you. Um so today earlier today when I actually went to Walmart, um I literally almost peed my pants when I found these. At first, I only saw the Kevin Harvick car, but then I looked on the other row, and then I found it. So it was really, I was really glad I found it, found it, found these cars. They are really, really cool. This is one of the best waves that NASCAR Line All Things did. But I was shaking so bad. Like, I was literally shaking so bad for about 15 minutes straight, nonstop. Because I couldn't believe I found these. And I usually never find any NASCAR Lionel Authentics this fast. Anyway, here's the hood. And what else has surprised me that the Ford on here, that it's black. It's not the regular blue and white. It's the black and white. But I think it's a pretty cool it's just to get away from the use. 21 Motorcraft Line Blaney, Blaney. Another very, very cool hood. Shoot, I forgot you cut. But anyway, here is one of the most coolest cars by far in NASCAR Lionel Authentics. And I just realized this too. But the Ford cars, there's actual there's an actually a difference in the hood for the uh, hood flaps. As you can see right right here, the hood is a the flaps, whenever they get spun around. 
these are a different shape than let's say Kevin Harvick. Chevy's they have it more squared, but for Ford's it's more of a shape. But anyway, just like the Brad Keselowski, they car they have the texture. They make you feel as if the grill actually had texture to it. And once again, we see the black and white Ford Motorcraft on there. It looks like that, almost like a throwback in a way. Um, and there's another pull award on here. Can't zoom in on it, I'm trying to. There, you can see it says pull on there. And then, I really like this, how it looks on the side. Um, I just really like it. They, Ryan Blaney doesn't even need to have a throwback car, because he's already got one. I mean, the Ford on here is already throwback, and he always runs the same paint scheme, and it always, it already looks throwback. So, in my opinion, I don't really think he needs a throwback paint scheme, but anyway, it's really, really cool. I'm just glad they actually had a Ryan Blaney. I would have never, ever thought that they would ever have a Ryan Blaney one. There's the Ford Motorcraft on there. And then what else I think is pretty cool is that how big these rookie stripes are. They're huge compared to Chase Elliott is really small. But these are really, really huge yellow rookie stripes. And this will be the fourth Ford to be released in the wave. I just really like this car. There's nothing else they could have done to make it great. I mean, it's already great. It is just so freaking awesome. I love it. Next up, we have the Chase Elliott 3M car. Another one I was excited to pick up. Because this is now Chase Elliott's third car to be released in the wave from his, we've gotten his Napa Auto Parts one, his Kelly Blue Book one, and now we got his 3M car. And I think Chase Elliott could get a win this year. I think he can do it. I think he could get a win at Darlington or I think he could get a win at Richmond. I think he can do it. If he just gets work hard, if he works hard enough, I think he can be in the chase. Um, but anyway, let me open it up and get to this another very, very cool car. Get, oh, oh, I can't get the hood out. <clears throat> I'm in trouble with this hood. Man, I can't even get the hood out. I'm not trying to bend it. Oh, there we go. Alright. First, as I've been doing for the past three cars I reviewed. Do the hood first. The hood ornament. The 3M Chase Elliott 24. Again, we're going very detailed with the pins on there. Once again, having the NASCAR Lionel Authentics logos on there. Oops, I almost brought up the, the Martin Ferris Jr. car. But anyway, here's the car. I forgot where a race he raced this at. I don't remember. I think it was... Michigan? Was it Michigan? I don't know. Anyway, another fine looking piece of car. And what I've noticed about this wave is that this is the most detailed NASCAR line authentics have ever gone in their cars. Their cars in this wave have been so, so very detailed. I mean, they could have not have done any better on detailing it. I couldn't have done better. They've just outstanded themselves. I like the fact that the grill on here has some texture on it. You can tell I'm trying to zoom in on it. You can see some texture on there. 3M. He been, he's taken over Greg Biffle's old paint scheme. If you remember that from 2013 and 2014. I like the black stripes going on there. It looks cool, pretty cool. Um, 
three in um, science applied to life. Yes, science applied to life. Why is my tablet not zooming in? But anyway, there's a little yellow bar indicating for where to put the jack for the jack man. Mountain Dew gives you fast cars, I guess. Yeah, Mountain Dew gives you fast cars and a fast championship. Alright, why is it, it's not letting me zoom in? But anyway, here's the yellow bars. I was talking about on the Ryan Blaney. Let me just get the Ryan Blaney one real quick. But I don't know if this is a Ford. This I think I'm think this may be a Ford thing. But anyway, as you can, why is it not zooming in? But you can tell on the Ford on Ryan Blaney's car, the yellow Ricky stripes are huge. But then when you come to the Chase Elliott's car, the yellow bar stripes they're really small and you can barely see them. I, I think that's just because of one being a Chevy and one being a Ford. But anyway, if you're a veteran car, you'll be able to know that Ryan Blaney is definitely a rookie because, well, the yellow bars are pretty big. And here's the other side. Basically, just the same. Napa Auto Parts on the... What do you, I forgot what you call this. The trunk, I think? Yeah, the trunk. Another, and this car is really cool. I like the 3M. I just like that. Nice car liner authentic releases cars that aren't really raced all the time. They look really good. Now, time to review the coolest car in the world. Martin Truex Jr.'s Bass Pro Shops Daytona 500 almost winning closest finish in his career Bass Pro Shops Toyota Camry 2016 Bass Pro Shops. This is a freaking awesome, 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 awesome car. I love it. This, this is just so cool. And I'll go more about it once I open up this. Uh, now I'll open this up. So, yep. Let me open it up. Nice looking car. Mighty fine looking car. This is a pretty cool looking hood. 78 Bass Pro Shops, Shops and Martin Trash Jr. I like their little, the side, the side on there. How they did it with the side. See this right here? The stripe on there. This is, I th I like this the best. This is the best looking hood or hood out of all of them. And too bad though, they couldn't put the hood flaps on them. Two right here and right here. But anyway, it's still a very cool decoration uh, piece. And now, here is Martin Trash Jr.'s 2016 Toyota Camry. And once again, the very extreme extremely detailed hood um not hood but the grill the grill yeah that's right you call it the grill extremely detailed grill why is my camera not wanting to zoom in on it there we go um bass pro shops logo furniture row that see that logo logo i'm zooming in on anyway that's his furniture row here's the side and here's the thing I was talking about on the hood that they took over that that they took after that on the hood. 78 March Jr. I like this I always like this orange. I really dig this orange. Furniture row, tracker boats, best pro shops. 78 Denver mattress on the top. 
And then you got some wood lawn camo right there on the just the bottom of the car. Not that much. I wish there's a little bit more, but anyway, it still looks cool. Here's the back of the car tracker boats. And I like the fact that they actually put this little you know on the camera on the back. Always oh, thought that was cool. And this is just a really, really cool looking car. Once again, NASCAR Line Authentics couldn't have done any better. They made it awesome. Except maybe they could have put a pull award on there, but anyway, still looks cool. Very, very cool. And as always, I thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want more for Wave 8 and the Darlington Throwback Wave coming up. I don't right now I don't have any money, so maybe for Christmas I might be able to get some. But anyway, really good looking cars. Best wave so far of NASCAR Line Authentics. Thank you so much for watching. And please like and subscribe for more. This is Logano Fan 22 Pig Lover signing out. See you guys later and bye.